Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Either way, thank you so much for being here. Today's video is a cozy fall clean with me with some more relaxing chill style music and a combination of a few things. A lot of cleaning, both every day and deep cleaning, two recipes, a cookie recipe and a dinner recipe. Both are super easy and delicious. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please hit that thumbs up button and let's start out by taking care of the kitchen. I always feel so lonely when the day is through I'm in the spotlight, not on to midnight I want somebody to hold my hand Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of heights I used to spend time with all my friends But who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I I try to get everyone to see me I play, play, play my games But I just end up looking like a showcase I have myself to blame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down, down Cause I ain't got no we're making our way through the dishes. The sink is slowly becoming more and more empty, so I'm working on that. I like to hand wash a few items, even if they do go in the dishwasher, mainly because they won't get fully clean with stuck on food, things like that. And right after I finish the last pan, I'll go ahead and start the dishwasher. Scrub the sink out really well too. I used to spend time with all my friends, but who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I I'm in the spotlight, not until midnight I want somebody to hold my hand Cause I got my head in the clouds But I'm getting really scared of heights I used to spend time with all my friends But who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I got my head in the clouds but and now that the sink is cleaned, I'm going to spray down the stove and microwave inside and outside, doing a quick clean of it. For the stove, you saw a close up in the beginning of the video, but there was crumbs, food, and whatnot. So we'll start with that and then move above to the microwave. It's time we make a change. Oh, you know, you'll always have me. Baby, I will always stay with you. So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride The two of us, we don't have to stop Baby, let's go for a ride You and I, let us run away Just living off the edge Only good times ahead So let me put a smile upon your face Baby, make your worries go away so 
I just wiped down the countertops, got all of the granite nice and clean, and I'm currently working on the face of the bottom cabinets. They are always the dirtiest from spills and things falling from cooking here every day, all day basically. So I'll work from left to right. Also getting the front of the oven while I was down here. And then I'll restock some protein bars in our pantry. I always mention these Alani New Bars, but if you haven't tried them yet, I highly, highly recommend. We order ours off GNC but I think multiple stores sell them. They are some of our favorites and every flavor we've had has been so good. So after that's restocked, we'll get to baking some cookies. Okay, we're going to take a quick break to make these s'mores chocolate chip cookies. They look so good. So we're going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. We're going to start with the dry ingredients. So I'm adding one and one fourths cup of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and I mashed up these graham crackers into little crumbs and I'll measure out one cup. The last thing that I'm going to add to this bowl here is a little bit of salt. In this bowl here, I have six ounces of unsalted butter, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and then a half a cup of brown sugar. Now that all of this is combined, I'm gonna add in some chocolate chips and I'm not measuring these, I'm just gonna put in as many as I want and then just fold them in. So I'm gonna bake these for five minutes and then we have one more step and then they'll continue to bake right after that. This is what the cookies look like about five minutes in, so they're somewhat flat now. I'm gonna add three to four of these mini marshmallows on each of them.
These cookies turned out absolutely delicious. If you like s'mores, they're a must try and pretty easy to make too. Now we're on to the dining room and living room for some more cleaning. Joe just ordered us an air fryer. That's what this big box on the table is. We're fry people, I mean. I can eat anything fried and I feel like everything tastes better that way. Even though this is a healthier alternative, I'm still so excited and ready to start using it. We've wanted one for a while, so send me all of your favorite recipes if you have one too. This one is the Instant Vortex brand if you're curious. It has a bunch of different settings and is able to do much more than air fry, but I'll probably incorporate some recipe ideas here and there over the next few weeks throughout videos when I figure out what our favorites are, but I have a feeling this will become a staple for our dinners. If you're working on any projects today let me know what they are in the comments i always love hearing what everybody is up to if you are enjoying this style video please hit that like button too so i know to keep making them i just wiped down the coffee table in here and next is the side table i'm lighting an evergreen candle in just a second it basically smells like a christmas tree which is a scent i never can get sick of even if it is only fall but i can't believe christmas is right around the corner only a few weeks Weeks away I'm so ready to start decorating I don't know about you guys but it feels like this time of year is always the busiest there's just one thing after another we have a trip coming up we're going away to Bermuda so I'm debating about getting the house done and decorated before we leave so I can appreciate it once we get back but we'll see I'm excited to share that with you guys I need a change of scenery in this house badly we've been home so much let me know if you're feeling the same way and plan to decorate early too We're quickly headed outside to water the mums, that way I can check it off my list. Something that I actually just learned is you're supposed to water the mums from the bottom or like directly on the soil, not over the flowers. They supposedly don't like being wet. I had no idea. So hopefully that tip can help some of you too. And I try to do this every other day or so, but don't always get to it. If you did miss last week's video, I decorated our front porch area. So definitely check it out after you watch today's and then I'll grab whatever was left out at the bottom of the stairs bring that up with me and get to work up here I'm sorry We were in Maine over the weekend, so that's why this bag was out. There was a ton of laundry to catch up on and put away, so that's what we'll work on next. Give me a chance, yeah baby try 
The room is somewhat picked up finally and now I'll take care of the bed. Getting that made, all the pillows off the floor and then we'll move into the bathroom. There's surfaces to wipe down, toilets to clean and a lot more. That you're distant There's something about you that's different I see it in your eyes Something isn't right Tell me again what I'm missing Cause you're fading on We've been here before Tell me again, just tell me again And I Make it right Don't go through the door Tell me again Just tell me again And I'll make it right It is a lie when you tell me That nothing is wrong Just leave it be But I see it in I'm getting the toilet sprayed down with some Clorox so that can sit for the time it needs to and while that's happening, I'll work on the counters behind me, wiping those all down and the sink as well. There's two more things we have to get done today before I share an easy crockpot recipe. First is mopping the floors and I'm combining water and the Mr. Clean solution just a little bit. I'll head upstairs and I'll repeat the same thing downstairs. But before we go over those floors, I'll do a fast vacuum. Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to you Cause I don't care about you anymore So you can't hurt me like you did before Let me tell you you said 
I shared this recipe in one of my very first videos, I think in 2019, but it's a staple here in the fall, so I wanted to include it again. It's a dump and go chicken pot pie in the crock pot. All you have to do is layer in your chicken, three cans of Campbell soup. I used two cream of potato and one cream of celery, and then one can of water and frozen peas and carrots. If you try this recipe out, definitely let me know, but that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. We love to have you, and I will see you back here in a few days.